Hi folks, Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art here. I want to introduce you to this lovely glass baby. It's called Floral with a Silver Frame. And I'm going to explain to you how I made this beautiful piece of art. And as you can see that the, the flowers are protruding from the piece. I put each one of these in the kiln uh, and painted them individually. And see how I gave them a little bit of movement, put them uh, where there was special stuff underneath them to put in the kiln so they wouldn't just be flat. So they're, you know, they're raised. That I thought was important. And then, as you can see, I put um, uh, brown twigs here and some gray and black twigs on these flowers. Now, I don't really know what kind of flowers they are. They're, they're Margie Ann flowers. We don't really know, but they remind us of spring and how happy spring is. And that's what I tried to capture on this. And what else I made with this beautiful piece of art, you see all these little different pieces there? What those things are called is, let me see, I want to make sure I call them the right thing, uh, stringers. And what I did with the stringers is, and see, I've got all kinds of different stringers in here. And I put that in the kiln to make this background piece. I just thought it was so pretty. And I went from the darker stringers to the lighter stringers. And I'll show you what stringers are. I just thought you would enjoy looking at stringers. Really, they come out real, real long. They're all maybe about this long. But see? See these little tiny pieces of glass? See them? And all different colors? Well, these ones are different greens. This one is blue and white and I don't know what else, but I've got some other ones. I thought you would enjoy looking at these. They're so pretty and you can just do so many different things with glass. Look at how beautiful they are. See how pretty they are? These ones you can see through and these See, some of them you can see through, some of them some of them you can't, but I just thought mixing it up made it so much more interesting than just all, uh, you know, where you couldn't see through them in the end. And now here's some more. These ones here, I think, are a little bit thinner. Yeah. See, now these stringers are even thinner. See how skinny they are? Aren't they beautiful? But I just thought that would be very interesting for you to understand all the different things you can do with glass. And these stringers started out real long, and I just broke them up and put them on here and stuff like that. And then I thought to brighten the piece up, let's have, this is actually some sort of mirror. It's made exactly like a mirror with that gooky stuff on the background of it, but it's kind of bumpy, the glass. And then they put that stuff on it, and it makes it reflective. And I just thought that was very, very pretty for... Uh, for springtime in that. And of course, we put this on here too. The framers did, and they framed it with this. I thought that turned out really, really pretty in that. So if you'd like to know more about my piece, let me see, I've got it. Oh yeah, I've got uh, some information right here for you. Here's the information, okay. I made this maybe about 12 years ago, and it took me maybe about three weeks to make it. Um, and I wanted to make a springtime thing. I think it cheers me up spring. Um, I, and I was trying to capture some spring colors, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and the flowers are 3D. See how they're 3D? It is, the whole piece is, is sticking out from uh, the background piece. Even the background piece is kind of bumpity because of those little streamers I put all over it and stuff like that. Oh, and I signed it down here. One of the few times that I remember to sign my thing, my piece, it's very, very thin, but I did sign it there for you and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy um, this piece. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I always enjoy making my art. It's uh, just such a, a pleasure to be able to capture in glass all these different beautiful things that we have in the world. I know they're not really like real flowers, but I think we captured what the feeling of a flower can make you feel like. So this is Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art. 
hoping you're enjoying this. Thank you.